Hey everybody, Scott here from Camco. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Blackboard Disc Harrow and install it on your Blackboard Implement Lift. Okay, so you just got yourself a brand new Blackboard Disc Harrow because that's really the best thing that you can buy for your ATV or UTV if you want to cultivate your land or maintain your property or establish a food plot. The Blackboard Disc Harrow has eight powder coated steel discs that wreak havoc on the earth and they, they, they're awesome at tearing up the ground, uh, whether it's got vegetation or grass or whatever. First we gotta assemble it. You're gonna need a three quarter inch wrench. If you have a ratcheting wrench, that's even better. It, the ratcheting wrench really comes in handy. You're gonna need a three quarter inch socket and you're also going to need a uh, one and one eighth inch socket for tightening down the axle hex nut. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way because we're gonna need ourselves some room. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, get everything we need on the axle. I've arranged the spacers and the bearings in the order that they're going to go onto the axle. We've also got four of our powder coated steel uh, discs that are gonna go onto this axle. Our finished product is gonna look just like this. It's gonna sit on the other side of the lift, kind of a, a mirrored image of this one. So I'm gonna show you how we put it together. So we're gonna take our axle and we're gonna put uh, the first disc on. We're gonna install it um, with the concave end facing up, all right? and be careful when you're uh, when you're installing these discs when you're handling them because they're powder coated steel and they're really sharp. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to stick our large end cap long spacer on there, then our bearing, then our small end cap short spacer. Then we're going to install our second disc. Again, concave up. All right, after that we're going to install our center spacer with the large end facing what we've got installed so far. And then we've got another disc. After we got our third disc on there, we're gonna do another large end cap long spacer, followed by our second bearing. and then a small end cap short spacer. All right, now I'm gonna tip this thing back up because it's a lot easier to install the final disc and washer, uh, spacer and hex nut when it's standing upright because it compresses the rest of the assembly. We're gonna stick our large end cap short spacer on there and then our uh, axle washer. And we're gonna hand tighten our uh, axle nut on there. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this thing down uh, when I torque the, torque the, the uh, axle nut on there so that the discs don't spin. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the axle assembly that we just put together. We're gonna put it onto the uh, selector plate. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna set it in place for right now. The selector plate is gonna be located between your first disc and the bearing. So we're gonna get it started with a carriage bolt and a lock nut. We're gonna put it through the bearing, run it through the uh, selector plate. We're gonna get our um, one of our lock nuts in there, hand tight. Get one in there. We're gonna take another one, another carriage bolt and another lock nut and we're gonna install it in our second bearing on the other end. Run it through the bearing. Get your uh, lock nut on there, hand tight. Then go ahead and, and now that we got this thing in place, you get, it's a lot easier to get your carriage bolts and your lock nuts installed. All right. So after you've got your, uh, all your carriage bolts and your lock nuts in place, we're gonna go ahead and torque these things down. They torque down to uh, 57 foot-pounds.
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-install our U-bolts into the selector plate um, so that we can install it onto the other half of the lift. I'm gonna install these U-bolts in a 15 degree concave facing out. It's gonna mirror this setup that I have on the other side of the uh, implement lift. So I'm gonna stick the U-bolt in the top and I'm gonna get my selector plate spacer and put it underneath there. And then I'm gonna grab two washers. I'm gonna grab one washer first and I'm going to uh, hold that in place with a lock nut. Got our selector plate spacer. Then we've got our washer. Now we're gonna hand tighten a lock nut on there. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. Get our U-bolt. And our spacer. Get ourselves a washer and a lock nut. Another washer and a lock nut. All right, so let's get this thing installed onto our lift. We're gonna install this thing in a way that mirrors the disc harrow that's on the, uh, the other half of the implement lift, or the other side of the implement lift. So we gotta turn this around so that the concave is facing out. Once we do that, we're gonna just lift it up and get the U-bolts over the bar. Once you get that first one, the second one comes a little bit easier. We're going to slide it in till the, uh, the outer U-bolt is four inches from the end of the uh, lift itself. And then we're going to tighten down our lock nuts. All right, so after you get this uh, final bolt tightened down, you're ready to go out in the field and play with your brand new blackboard disc hero. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Camco. Dot net. Dot net. Dot net.